Some people call me the Elvis of fonts. To others, I'm known as the traveling font salesman or the junk food font king. Whatever my title, I make typefaces for a living. I make custom fonts for big corporations, and I sell my fonts online to small businesses and entrepreneurs. Not many people have ever met a real-life type designer, so there's always a bit of mystique surrounding my visits to a new city. I like to travel to share my love of the alphabet. I've been to Finland, Sweden, England, and all over the U.S. My name's Cenk Diesel. I'm an American alphabetician. Today I'm in Atlanta working with 50 graphic design enthusiasts to build an alphabet made of bling, inspired by Atlanta's rich heritage of hip hop music. Using my favorite font, Liquor Store, as the foundation, the participants will assemble a new gloss and floss font out of gems, jewels, and the sparkle of their own creativity. Doesn't matter if you're a graphic designer, an academic, or a bartender, everybody has an opinion about the alphabet. Now, do you have a favorite letter of the alphabet? I do, it's the letter E. E. Lowercase particularly. I really like the sound of E. I think it, it just makes, it's just so expressive. Got a um, long affair with yeah, E. Yeah, right. I really like E. I have a little collection of E, yes. Metal ones and big ones and yeah. multiple E's. Multiple it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, does anybody want to be a zero? Because <laughs> I mean, we could use the O too. I mean, number one, number one. X for Mark. A V. Oh, that's Dave, right? Yeah, Dave. You're holding out for the N, aren't you? Who wants the N? Now we, a little early on the E. Kevin's calling for the G here. The F. Do you have a favorite letter of the alphabet? Yeah, I and think why? I do, actually. You know, um, a capital G. And it sort of like spirals and then goes off, you know, it's... Uh, Letters like R, T, M. F, Z makes you kind of think of... A fabulous letter. Not just that it stands for graphic and my last name, but... Frank Zappa. No, the F, the Z, all together in one. The Cooper M is actually really nice, too. I don't know why I'm thinking of caps. Instead of lowercase. Cap R. Haslon 540. Cap R. Yeah, I would say Helvetica. It's Helvetica. It has to be. <laughs> it just has to be. Yeah, Sorry. Great Swiss vibe. Claritin. Claritin. Yeah, Claritin. At this point in time in my life, it would be the C from Cooper. Is the uppercase C? Yeah. It's got that little bump on the yeah. bottom part. It's, it's, it's weird. Like, uh, I always think it's like the bottom of the lip, a lower lip. Yeah. But you know, Futura is pretty nice too because it's really round. I really couldn't say that I prefer vowels to consonants. I think I'm much more of a consonants kind of guy. Yeah? Yeah. But you know, the vowels need to be represented because they come in handy, but... Vowels are too common. Common is not good. Consonants are good. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a very... Difficult question. Yeah. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> you get a, you get a... We took pictures of the letters and made a photographic font that's full of pizzazz. Then I used the new liquor store letter forms to make a traditional outline font. 
You can download both of these fonts at my website, chank.com. Just click on free fonts and look for Baller's Delight. In general, letter G is my favorite letter form, but I really like the vowels. I just think they're great. I mean, couldn't we all use a little more ooh, ah, and ease in our life? My favorite vowel today, I guess I'd say O. Oh. Everyone can use just a little more O. Oh. 